What's going on? Obviously you clicked on this video because you want to figure this out just like me. And this shit's frustrating. Crush washers. Fucking 8.8. .8. You have a Mustang and you want to put new gears in it. You're going to be all fast and shit, right? Or you got a, a Bronco like me. See, I'm not as gay as you Mustang guys. But I am pretty gay for having a Ford. That's what they're going to say to us, right? Okay, so. Setting the pinion on a Ford 8.8. .8. You got to use crush washers, right? These things fucking suck balls. I made a tool. Took the ye old welder right there. And I made this little guy. To put onto the pinion, right? Because you got to put an godly amount of force onto the pinion nut to get it to start crushing and holy shit you gotta get it there and then it's still fucking wobbly and then you get it there and it's not it doesn't have any resistance yet and you're like i'm just gonna go just a little bit more right and you go a little bit more and then you take your dial -a meter that you borrowed from a really good friend because these fucking things are really expensive Thanks, Kevin. Thanks for letting me borrow this. Anyway, and you put it on there, and you're like, dude, it's going to be amazing. I'm going to be right within specs. By the way, new specs is 15 to 25 inch pounds. Um, and you do it, and it's like 14 inch pounds. Fuck. So you got to put just a little bit more on it. Just a little bit more ass. I'm, and I'm talking a little bit. Don't put any more than a little bit, because I did. I put like a little bit plus. I didn't put my ass into it. I mean, just like, eek. And then you go put this back on. Everything's going to be amazing. And it's like 38 inch pounds. You fucked up. Okay. So, fuck that cross washer nonsense. Fuck all of it right in its butthole. And get these. See these? I got these off Jegs. Solid pinion spacer. And what we do with this is you've got this piece, which has got a nice little machined recessed area. And then that little nice machined recessed area is where you're going to put these really thin little shims. Okay. And then there's this other guy. And then it has a, is that chamfered? Some engineer or whatever guy's going to be like, oh, that's not chamfered. Whatever. You get what I'm saying. That side actually goes down. I think I could be wrong onto there, right? And then these guys, they all going to spend time with each other and have a little happy life there together. Okay. So that's that. So what I did or what I'm going to do is I took my calipers and I did the best one. Okay. And this was 0 0.440. So what I did is I made my shim stack that stack right there is 0 0.442. Remember, I just went just over a little bit. And it just kind of fucked me. So I'm going to try this. And then I'll put my best friend's freaking torque meter on there. And I'm hoping to get 20 inch pounds. Hopefully. Hopefully. So anyway, fuck crush washers. Buy that kit. Dude, I think it was like 15 bucks, $11 or something like that on Jegs. Worth every freaking penny. Buy some other shit. And if you're watching this, you might have messed up already. So you're going to need another new pinion nut as well. So you might as well buy that too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you. And fuck crush washers. It's all about solid spacers. Yes!